Welcome to my channel, subscribe or dale like if you like. Today we will explain the active principle pantoprazole, we will talk about its side effects, its dosage, contraindications, warnings, its mechanism of action, pregnancy, breastfeeding and much more. What is pantoprazole? Pantoprazole is a medication used in the treatment of erosions and ulcers caused by gastroesophageal reflux disease. It is also indicated for the treatment of diseases in which the body produces an excess of gastric acid, such as Zollinger-Ellison syndrome. The trade names of pantoprazole are, Rotonix, Rotonix 4, Pantazole, Effectriflu, Alapanzole, Anigastra, Pantecta. Mechanism of Action of Pantoprazole Inhibits the secretion of acid in the stomach. It binds to the proton pump in the gastric parietal cell inhibiting the transport of H plus to the gastric lumen. Therapeutic indications and dosage of pantoprazole. Oral route, on an empty stomach, do not chew. Intravenous, during 2 to 15 minutes. Adults and adolescents over 12 years old. Symptomatic GERT, oral, 20 mg every 24 hours, 2 to 8 weeks, in reappearance after getting control. 20 mg every 24 hours, on demand, if not achieved, assess continuous treatment. Long-term treatment and relapse prevention of reflux esophagitis, oral, maintenance, 20 mg every 24 hours, if relapse occurs, increase to 40 mg every 24 hours. Moderate and severe reflux esophagitis, oral, 40 to 80 mg every 24 hours, 4 to 8 weeks. Adults. Prevention of non-selective NSAID-induced gastroduodenal ulcers in at-risk patients on continuous NSAID treatment, oral, 20 mg every 24 hours. Duodenal ulcer. Intravenous, 40 mg every 24 hours, oral, 40 to 80 mg every 24 hours, from 2 to 4 weeks. Gastric ulcer. Intravenous, 40 mg every 24 hours, oral. 40 to 80 mg every 24 hours, 4 to 8 weeks. Moderate and severe reflux esophagitis, intravenous, 40 mg every 24 hours. S. Zollinger Ellison and other hypersecretory diseases, intravenous or oral, 80 mg every 24 hours, for higher doses, divide in two. As a transitional measure, daily dose greater than 160 mg. In rapid control of acid secretion, intravenous, 160 mg. Eradication of H. pylori, oral, 40 mg two times a day, from 7 to 14 days, associated with two suitable antibiotics in peptic ulcer. 1 1 gram amoxicillin plus 500 mg chlorithromycin, two times a day. 2 1 gram amoxicillin plus 400 to 500 mg metronidazole twice a day. 3, 400 to 500 mg metronidazole, or 500 mg denidazole, plus 250 to 500 mg chlorithromycin, twice a day. Symptomatic gastroesophageal reflux disease, 20 mg every 24 hours, 2 to 3 days, maximum 4 weeks. Severe liver failure, maximum 40 mg every 48 hours, oral or 20 mg every 24 hours, oral or intravenous. Kidney failure, maximum 40 mg every 24 hours, oral or intravenous. Elderly, maximum 40 mg every 24 hours, oral or intravenous, except in combined treatment for eradication of H. pylori, oral, 40 mg every 12 hours, for 7 days. Mode of administration of pantoprazole. Gastro-resistant tablets, should be taken one hour before breakfast. If your posologic guideline is two daily doses, the second tablet should be taken before dinner. Side effects and adverse reactions of pantoprazole. Fundic gland polyps, benign. Thrombophlebitis at the injection site. Paresthesia. Hypocalcemia. Contraindications of pantoprazole. Hypersensitivity to the active ingredient or to substituted benzimidazoles. Pantoprazole warnings and precautions. Severe liver failure, adjust dosage, 
monitor liver enzymes and discontinue treatment if increased. Kidney failure. Elderly. Exclude malignancy. May reduce vitamin B12 absorption. Monitor for symptoms of S. and deficit, long-term treatment and vitamin B12 deficiency, or risk factors for reduced absorption. Possibly increased risk of gastrointestinal infection caused by bacteria, e.g., Salmonella, Campylobacter, C. difficile. Not recommended with atazanavir due to risk of decreased bioavailability, if necessary. Monitor clinically and increase atazanavir dose to 400 mg plus 100 mg ritonavir and do not exceed 20 mg pantoprazole per day. Regular review on prolonged treatment, more than one year. Risk of hypomagnesemia on prolonged treatment and in concomitants with digoxin or other drugs that may reduce plasma Mg levels, for example diuretics. Consider plasma Mg control at baseline and periodically during treatment at high doses and in prolonged treatment, the risk of hip, wrist and spine fracture increases, especially in the elderly or in the presence of other risk factors, ensure CA and vitamin D intake if there is a risk of osteoporosis. Children under 12 years, limited data. Intravenous route not recommended for children under 18. Risk of subacute cutaneous lupus erythematosus, SCL, if lesions occur, especially on sun-exposed skin areas, accompanied by arthralgia, consider stopping treatment. Possible increase in chromogranin A, CUGA, levels that may interfere with neuroendocrine tumor scans, stop treatment at least 5 days before, if CUGA and gastrin levels do not return to baseline interval after initial measurement, repeat at 14 days. Liver failure of pantoprazole. Contraindicated in eradication of H. pylori in patients with moderate severe liver failure. Caution in severe liver failure, adjust dose, maximum 40 mg every 48 hours, oral, or 20 mg every 24 hours, oral or intravenous. Monitor liver enzymes. Pantoprazole renal failure. Contraindicated in eradication of H. pylori in patients with moderate severe renal failure. Caution in renal failure, maximum dose 40 mg every 24 hours, oral or intravenous. Interactions of pantoprazole. Reduces the absorption of, ketoconazole, itraconazole, posiconazole, arilotinib. Monitor INR prothrombin time, along with, coumarin anticoagulants. Increase levels of, methotrexate, at high doses. Pregnancy and pantoprazole. There are insufficient data on the use of pantoprazole in pregnant women. Animal studies have shown reproductive toxicity. The risk in humans is unknown. Pantoprazole should not be used during pregnancy unless clearly necessary. Breastfeeding and pantoprazole. Animal studies have shown excretion of pantoprazole in breast milk. In humans, pantoprazole has been reported to be excreted in breast milk. Therefore, the decision to continue or discontinue breastfeeding or pantoprazole treatment should be made taking into account the benefit of breastfeeding to the child and the benefit of pantoprazole treatment to the mother. Effects on the ability to drive with pantoprazole Pantoprazole is unlikely to affect the ability to drive or use machines. Adverse drug reactions such as dizziness and visual disturbances may occur. If they occur, patients should not drive or use machines.